<laughs> Hi parents, it's Mr. Light. Uh, so last time we started growing some plants and hopefully by now, uh, a week later, they are sprouted and you can actually start to look at some things. So um, I was just informed uh, that kindergartners have a tough time using a ruler to measure because that's abstract and not concrete. But um, they are very good at looking at bigger, smaller, that kind of thing. So in the video, I know I introduced them to the ruler and kind of talk about those things. Um, if that's a little too, I mean, if you have an advanced uh, kindergartner that uh, is big into measuring and taking some data, go for it. Uh, but if you just want to compare which ones are bigger and which ones are smaller, I think that would be just fine. Uh, they mentioned using some kind of snap together cubes that they use in math and say how many cubes they are away, which I think is interesting. They know what a Unix cube is, but they don't know what an inch is. So, um, regardless, the idea here is to say, okay, whose plants grew the best? Uh, did they grow better in sunlight or did they grow better in the dark? Did they grow better in the cold? Did they grow better in uh, lots of water, a little water? Whatever experiment you set up, you want to compare the sizes of those plants. Probably more importantly is also looking at the parts of the plant. The idea of the shoot of grass or the, uh, the sprout coming out of the seed. Uh, where's the seed? Where's the sprout? And then specifically what are roots? And how those roots, and I know my roots were stuck to my cotton ball. I know if you do it in a plastic bag, you're going to definitely be able to see those roots next to your paper towel. So identifying the parts of a plant is really the biggest part of today. Then you can start to compare, okay, which ones are better in the light, which ones are better in the dark, and see if you can get them to figure out that plants are going to need water, they're going to need sunlight, and they're definitely going to need air. The interesting thing about this is that they actually don't need dirt. Um, you know, if you look at hydroponics and some of the ways in which uh, we're growing plants these days, uh, they don't have any dirt at all. Uh, soil actually does give the plant some nutrients uh, that help it grow, um, you know, nitrogen and different things like that, but it's actually not necessary. Uh, it uh, will grow in, in just water, uh, which is what we do with hydroponics. Um, like I said last time, the, the mass of the plant, the carbon from the plant actually comes from the air. It comes from the plant breathing in the carbon dioxide. Uh, and then keeping it as sugar and breathing out oxygen. They totally don't need to know that in kindergarten, but as a parent, that's what's happening. So um, we are going to be uh, transplanting them into dirt next time, but it's interesting to note that there isn't any dirt in the situation and they are still growing. So um, go ahead, talk kind of through those things with your son or daughter. If you can get them to understand that plants need sunlight and water uh, to grow, uh, you can kind of skip the air, that's pretty, uh, you know, uh, high level for them. But uh, sunlight and water to grow, I think that's a, that's a big step. So if you have any questions, please contact uh, your teacher, or you can contact me at likescience2020 at gmail.com, and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. If you like science and you like this video, feel free to like this video below, and subscribe for future updates.